Hello, this is Shannon from uh, Strong Enough to Be in Homestead. Uh, the other day, we uh, filmed Lona pig up. Well, Lona had the pig loaded up and to get ready to harvest. So we was went and weighed it to, to get an idea how much she weighed. We did the measurement process and the round shoulders and then from the Nail the ears to the base of the tail, and it shows she weighed 437 pounds. Doing it that way, then we went and weighed her, it was pretty close. She weighed 430 pounds, so it's seven pounds difference, just pretty, pretty close. And so we dispatched her and harvested her. We didn't film any of it, but in a couple of days, we we're gonna harvest another one. My parents was. was one, so we're gonna harvest there. Probably do a little filming of it. And but I just thought it was kind of neat how close that measurement was. We're gonna do theirs just to get an idea. We ain't gonna take it off and measure it or weigh it, but we're just gonna do the measurement, just get an idea. And this is the different cuts of meat we got. Like this here is the, some of the soup meat, bone soup meat. We cut the bone soup meat. We just, we just we cut the ribs. We cut the chest in half. Then on a bigger pig like this, then we cut the ribs in half. Then we cut them up against the the spine all the way down. And then that spine part. There's still quite a bit of meat on it after you cut the back straps and the inner loins and, and you just cut it sections and you put it in a roaster pan and you cook them up and you get the, the chunks of meat and stuff come off and you get soup meat out of it. Then a lot of people, and we do it too to do it, is cook the bones more and get the bone broth and you can can the, the bone broth and then as you cook different things you can put it in there and give it more flavor to the food. Where the, like here's the, the ribs. There's seven pounds of ribs. This is a four pack of ribs. And there's, sometimes we do two packs and, and then we got some of uh, the pork chops because on, on Sometimes we go ahead and cut the spine in half and keep the back straps on there. Then we make the bone pork chops, but this time we just got the cut the back straps all the way down and just cut in sections like this and put two and a half pounds or five pounds and put two of them together and you have pork chops like that or have the whole section and cook it like that. Save the bacon meat. We're going to do it. We may have tried curing it ourselves. Probably, do, probably try to do a video on it. And it's the freezer. Oh! And uh, we keep the heart and we, then we cut the liver and the kidneys to put in the sausage meat. Which we didn't have time, but we got like 13 pounds. One. 13 pounds of sausage meat. And here's the, like the, here's the shoulder. It's 15 pounds. It was more than that. We could let it be able to put in the smoker. We cut the, the hawk off here and make it fit and pretty size shoulder. Then we uh, got a pan. It's 23 pounds. The other one's 25 pounds, but it's how you cut the meat too. When the bigger pigs, I mean, where the hip mix, I mean, the ham hip mix the pelvis, you cut that's kind of like the top part off, and you have the ham roast. And then, then you do the same thing on the shoulder, you might have a shoulder roast or, or, or the butt roast. 
you can lie to me. <laughs> Off it and figure my thought this pink was. I guess I feed them every day and you know they're getting big, but you don't realize how big they are. <laughs> and I just, uh, showing not that at the end of the process, the, another probably a couple of days we're going to harvest the other one. I'm wanting to do a little filming on it. I mean, there are people has. I just let you show you what the end process is. We set a couple tables up and we wrap the, well, we put it in the freezer bags and then we wrapped it up in that so we have double protection in the freezer so the freezer burn. And we take the margin, weigh it to work it so we don't have much meat there and or we just want a small meal or something or have a big like the ham and have a pretty good size ham or cup in here and be good holiday ham smoke it and, or something like that but I uh, just uh, show you what we done a little bit and uh, please subscribe to our channel and thank you bye